Hi, this is Ben Llewellyn. If you go rondo, if you listen to this video, I'll put a time lapse of the sun setting somewhere near the end for you. Today I was going to make you a video upon the Welsh kings and princes about the ones that I think everybody should know and I will make that video for you but that's not today because I'm living in a situation where right outside my window is very very noisy. I live in a tourist location which is one of the many issues facing our country and our language in Wales. But that's another issue. I am moving, looking at buying my first house, and when I do that, I will construct a studio for you so that this kind of thing just does not happen, where we can control sound. But one thing that you should know if you're interested in the Welsh language, over tourism in much of Wales is deeply destructive to the native communities. Instead, I'm going to make a video for you today about some of the words in Welsh which I think are beautiful in terms of their sound, not what they mean per se. If you want a video on what, what some of my favorite words in Welsh are as per their meanings, I can do that for you in a different video. Maybe I will. But Welsh, as opposed to English, has more sounds than you can get in English. So there are seven official vowels in Welsh, there are five in English, but it goes a bit more deep than that. There are 14 vowel sounds and 12 in English, but then there are diphthongs, which are two vowels put together. 17 in Welsh compared to English is 13. So total vowel sounds in Welsh are 31 compared to 25 in English. That's significant because they add up when you're creating words, mixing different sounds together, but also consonants. There's more in Welsh than there are in English again. 31 in Welsh, 24 in English for the sounds. So the phonemes, the total amount of sounds you can make in Welsh are 45. Whilst in English it's 36. So it adds up, creates possibilities which you don't have in English in terms of sound. So I'm gonna go for a walk outside, try and find some quiet places if possible on this bank holiday weekend and let you know what some of those words are. Let's go. Ostru, ruse, trick, stratagem. De hangva. The FA connotates a place. De hangva. An escape route. Uh, a way out. Sometimes a refuge. It's not usually this sunny in Wales. Halog. That diphthong there, the EU, that's... I don't know if that sounds found quite in English, it, depending on what... Tavodiaith you speak. Tavodiaith. But I came up with that one because I wanted to tell you the word new. Which I'm pretty sure that sound is not really very common in English. New. The palatized N. New. But it's not very new log today. Let's go into the woods. It's a bit better light there. Camille, to cloud. That's one of my. Oh, I like how that word sounds. And emotion, emotion. Usually, like to let go in tears, to let yourself go. Emotion, literally, to just drop yourself. And that ung ending, 
that's in a lot of words that just strike out as being quite different to English in terms of sound. Argavong, uh, a crisis, an emergency. Argavong. It's usually not this sunny, so I thought I'd come outside and try to do one for you outside. But it's a bit bright, isn't it? Llachar. Llachar. Really flash brightness. Let's go further that way. Gwiwa. To wilt. Lots of vowels. Blodeo. To bloom. One of my favorite is Hluch. It may sound difficult to pronounce for you, but I like that the double L and the H are in the same word. Hluch. Chwis. Sweat. Chwis. That ooey bit. That's in lots of words. Dewey. Too feminine. Goleo. Goleo. To illuminate. The sun is goleo. The trees. I was going to say still calm and quiet, but no matter where I go today, I cannot escape people. That's Bank Holiday Weekend on the North Welsh coast, Conwy Gwynedd Morn. Bodlondeb. Contentedness. It means the essence of being full of being, bold, lone, soundful, deb. Essence of. Dole hovel, a summery meadow. Let's go. Tavyantolaha Summer's last growth <sighs> One that I feel I should mention is Yveliaith This means Judaism But what makes this word so special in terms of sound is that It has two consonants which in English Are the same one Double D and TH are sound exactly the same in English and so in English, this would only have one consonant, and the rest are all vowels. Ivelyaith. It's also a very beautiful word. Another word that I like is uh, klindarvach. Klindarvach. This is, uh, it can be like crumpling or metal dins. Kind of just a, a really kind of rattling, beating metallic noise in a way. Klindarvach. It's quite unpleasant, and you can feel that in what the word is. Oh, it's a lovely evening. Oh, I had to get out here and try and make a video, Tiachan, outside. 
what's another word that I should tell you that the sound of is just so unique to the Welsh language. Kisnavev. Snot. Kisnavev. There's a lot of words with this kisk sound. Hmm. Well, I've tried to make quite a few videos for you this summer outside, but as you can tell, it's the end of August and the light is getting longer and so it's going to Adairi. In English, I guess you would call that Toriku Adairi. Dur, D W with that Tobach, R water. And it's going to get quite cool and wet in the next month or two. So I won't be able to make so many videos for you outside. And I wish I had more time and more effort to give you more videos. If you would like to help me make more time and more videos for you, please join me on Patreon. I'll put that down below. And let's see what we can find in the Coedwig. Coedwig. Over there, the forest. I'll show you before I go over. Come on! Kvarth. Kvarth. The barking of a dog. We're late. We're the late day. Believe liquid, blended hygiene. That H Y is an intensifier. I tried to give you words overall, which contain all the letters of the alphabet. Words which I, I like the sounds of. But I think there's some that I haven't, <laughs> that I haven't mentioned. I think like the letter T. So, uh, triflig. That's like triple. There's the PH in there. That sounds like a f sound. Hruyoldab, sexuality. It's kind of like the r sound, but it's just, it sounds like it has an, the H before it. Ride, a need. Oh, one word that's nice, to need. Angen, angen, that's a, it's a very beautiful word. Tlos, pert. And pretty feminine, tluce, pert and pretty, masculine or non gendered. Because the Welsh language has more consonants and vowels than English, as you've seen, it can form many more combinations. Kvinyada, 
Cavignado Senya, combinations of sounds. And I like that, that it's able to inflect words and change the middle of them in terms of plurals, or the beginnings of them in terms of possession. Vumhont e. My bridge, pont, becomes mhont. And that, that nasal sound, that doesn't really exist in English. That's one that's difficult, I think, for learners. Harisco, bark, like tree bark. And I think I've gone through most of the letters in Welsh without having to tell you that I'm going through them because I didn't want to bore you, did I? One that there's a lot of is the gwa sound. Gwych, fantastic. Gwehilion, the dregs of society, a gwehilion. Tinkluid cani, a Do you hear the singing of the bird? Tridar, tridar is the chirping, the tweeting of the birds in the forest. Tridar. I came here to try and get away from the tourist life, the tourism. But there's sound coming from that way, and there's a busy road that way. If you're coming to Wales, one thing that you're going to have to learn as someone who's getting into the Welsh language is that the constant flow in of English tourism can make it really difficult to get in touch with the culture and language as an outsider. Or just if you live here and you just want a day away from people being loud who aren't speaking Welsh, it can be difficult. I know. Were there any words that you liked in this video or what words do you like if you speak any Welsh that you like the sound of? There are so many beautiful words in Welsh. I've just gone through a few of them and I could go on and on about them, but I don't want to divalasi, to bore you. One saying we have in Welsh is, do de nolat de goid, to come back to your trees, to get yourself back in touch with yourself, to get yourself in the right state of mind. And as I prepare, hopefully, to move back south, I came here to the woods to kind of get back in touch with myself a bit. Being up here in Llendidno and Conway, it's actually more narrow in terms of the land than you might think, the geography, because the Craven, the peninsula, is pushed between two seas, and a lot of the area that's low is full of tourism, which I don't really want to spend a lot of time in during the height of tourist season. So I look forward to moving and seeing what videos I can provide for you. What kind of videos do you think you would like in terms of nature? Would you like more outside? They do take a bit of time, but they are much more enjoyable because Wales is such a beautiful country. If you come here, you need to know getting around without a car is artaith, torture. And I'm working on that. It's the step after the next step to get a car. But I've come to this country, I've gone to university, I've gotten citizenship, I've moved around a few times, I've gotten a divorce, changed careers. I mean, life adds up and it adds up fast and before you know it, a decade's gone by. So you've got to use every single day that you've got. If you want to learn a language, you've just got to plunge yourself into it. Um drochi to immerse yourself in it. And don't waste your time chasing after too many projects because you can't catch two rabbits if you're chasing both. You've got to focus on one. And maybe after that, the other one won't have gotten away. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next episode.